So the new He-Man, <clears throat> I guess you could say Sheila, Masters of the Universe show has released recently. <sighs> I'm not going to watch it. And here's why I'm not going to watch it. I have no desire to support people who lie. That's the thing that bothers me the most. If they just came out and said, this show does not revolve around He-Man, I'd have no issue with that. I wouldn't be hyped, I wouldn't have the show on my radar, I wouldn't care. But the fact that their trailers showed He-Man being heroic, a real hero being a total badass, and apparently the show has nothing to really do with He-Man, and he dies within like the first episode or something, I'm not gonna watch it. I don't completely understand why somebody would do that. I, I really don't. Besides pushing a story or agenda. But I, ultimately, it's just dumb. It, it really is. It really is dumb. I mean, you lure in so many fans with that badass trailer and that badass animation. And this is what you give them. And I, I'm just, I'm blown away. I, I truly am just blown away. I, how could you do this to your fans? I, I, don't, I don't know why so many movies and film, <clears throat> excuse me, so many film companies nowadays are just being so disrespectful towards their fans. I, I don't, I don't get it. I, in Star Wars, it's been, Star Wars, Marvel, DC Comics, Marvel Comics, they have been so disrespectful towards their fans, in my opinion, with some of the crap they've released. I just, ugh. I mean, if you're really gonna sit, sit there and tell me that any of the recent Marvel shows... Or the new Star Wars films, or the, or I am not Starfire, are revolutionary or going to be classic stories. You're wrong. These are going to be stories that are all forgotten, including this new He Masters of the Universe show. See, that's the issue, the main issue with Masters of the Universe, because you know what? Ninety nine percent of people call it He Man. So, instead of wasting my time with crap I'm not going to what like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and watch the original He-Man show. I might not watch all the episodes, but I want to watch a couple of them, just to see if the show is any good. Now, I'm, pro I'm probably going to enjoy the original show. I'm a sucker for the 80s and 80s TV, so I'll probably enjoy it. I really enjoy the... Original series of Transformers, Star Wars droids, and that's about the limit of what I've watched, but, you know, Hello Kitty Fairy Tale Theater, I don't think that counts. Anyways, so I'll be checking out the original He-Man, and not wasting my time with this modern crap. And I think that's the real unfortunate thing of unfortunate things. In the 80s, the reason the He-Man Masters of the Universe show was made was to sell toys. And here we are years later, and the greed is even worse. <sighs> it's just ultimately a bummer, because it's another franchise that's bit the dust. And I don't want to see established franchises just go out like that, man. It really sucks. And I I feel really sorry for the people who were really hyped by that trailer, who grew up with He-Man. Like, hell yeah, I can't wait to watch. What is this crap? And, tr and truly, that's ultimately who they're hurting. They're hurting the fans. And the worst part is someone like me, who was interested in He-Man, even got an action figure to go along with the show's release. I'm not going to get into it. So you're not going to be able to get new fans, and the old fans have left. Who are you left with? The answer is nobody.
And that is the legacy of the show, because nobody will remember it. So, anyways, guys, my next video will probably be talking about the original He-Man show and my thoughts about it. So, this is RSRT864. Stay tuned for that. Peace, and have a great day. But wait, right before you go, I found this awesome clip from a YouTube video talking about the He-Man show. And I feel like it perfectly summarizes what's going on in the entertainment climate today. So, let's get right into that. Final thoughts. This is why the Japanese entertainment machine is completely and utterly crushing the West under its foot. I know reading manga or watching anime, the focus is on a good story. It's not trying to preach to me. Yes. It's not taking characters I love and then completely destroying them for yes. no other reason than to uplift a boring female character that's about as well written as the nutritional facts yes. of the bag of Wendy's. And I know that the Japanese just want to tell a story. They want yes. escapism. This all should be escapism. I shouldn't feel yes. some sort of message that I've been told one too many times since, what, 2018 is when it really ramped up? It's been years of this ridiculousness. And I'm tired. Yes. I'm burnt out. Everyone is. If you want to tell some sort of story with a strong female character, have at it. Yes. Make your own. Agreed. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that ending video. The full video will be in the link in the description below. I completely agree with him. I I think the Japanese entertainment industry is just going to crush the United States industry for a long time. Hopefully I'm wrong about that. I would love to see American television and American movies rise to what they once were, but I just don't think that's going to happen. I could be wrong, but... Anyways, guys, this is Ryan SRT264. Sign up, my amigos. Peace, and have a great day.